Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reacts. And today I have a Jeff Dunham reaction video for you. And this one is Walter the Weatherman. And I've, I've recently done a Jeff Dunham video for the first time in quite a while. And when I say recently, I mean like minutes ago that might have been released weeks ago on the channel like or days or a week ago but i like to work in advance so yeah i done um peanut and ahmed in um abu dhabi and it kind of disappointed i'm not gonna lie so i already had two lined up so i'm hoping that this one brings it to like brings the old jeff dunham that had me like pissing me pants back and with Walter, I haven't really reacted to much of Walter, and I don't know why. My dad says that like it's his favourite character from all of them, and I've seen a few comments saying the same thing, but I've never really given him a chance, but I have with all the other characters. So I've got quite a few of Walters to get through, so I'm hoping I've chose a good one to get started with. I hope you enjoy this. If you are a fan of Jeff Dunham and a fan of Walter, and there's any other videos you want me to react to, let me know in the comments down below, and I will get around to doing them. But until then, let's get into this one. I'm looking forward to this. So, Walt, you guys have been married a long time. Oh, yeah. Ups and downs in every marriage. You ever been to any marriage counseling? Yes. <laughs> What'd that do for you? Look at me. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Come on, what were the results of the counseling? Well, at the end of it all, there were two folks who thought I was an ass. <laughs> and I'm paying both of them. <laughs> but you are happy to be here. Oh, sure. I, better than last week. Last week, yeah, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We were there. You didn't like that? No. Why not? Everyone in Fort Lauderdale, Florida looks exactly like me. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it's like one giant nursing hall. <laughs> Wasn't that Fort Lauderdale's where they taped a lot of those Girls Gone Wild videos? Well, that's only during spring break. Oh, the rest of the time, it's Girls Gone Saggy. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's Girls Gone Senile. <laughs> and then it's just Girls Gone. <laughs> You didn't like the weather there either. Oh my God, even in the middle of winter, it's uh, humid as hell and hot as hell. We got there, I took a shower on Monday. Friday, still not dry. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I do moss on my ass. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to be this man when I'm older. I complain so much about the weather. People keep telling me, especially now, like we're going through like a little mini heat wave in London now. And like people keep telling me now that like, uh, when the summer's over and the winter comes, you're going to be moaning that it's too cold. I'm not. Like, like I'm one of these people that like, I pray for the winter. I love the coldness. The, the colder, the better. The, if we lived like in the Scandinavian countries where it went to like minus 10 and it was full of snow. I'd be a happy man. I would be more than okay with it. But yeah, I can't stand the summer. I never. The only time I like the sun is when I go on holiday. That I can jump in and out of a pool. But not when I've got to go to work. Not when I'm going to work. I cycle to work and I, I sweat everywhere. And then I have a shower. Then I'm walking around in work and I sweat everywhere. And I cycle home and I sweat everywhere. And I get home and I lay in bed doing nothing. And I just fucking sweat everywhere. I hate the summer. I really do. <laughs> Yeah, you said the, the weather changes too quickly? Yeah, I know it changes fast everywhere else in the country, but in Florida, it's ridiculous. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. I was standing there on the beach in the sunshine, having a little iced tea. I looked over and I go, ooh, look, a little cloud. About three minutes later, <laughs> holy crap! <laughs> the locals are hanging onto the palm trees. We love it here! <laughs> you dumbasses! <laughs> I say leave it to the Cubans and get the hell out! <laughs> All right, so you want someplace a little cooler? Yeah, do you remember uh, we went to Green Bay, Wisconsin? Yeah, in February! <laughs> It was negative 20 with a negative 30 wind chill. <laughs> I'd get on stage every night and I'd say, you people are idiots. <laughs> Did you know the borders are open? <laughs> Pack up your suburban and get the hell out. And another thing, Green Bay Packers Stadium. What's it called? Lambeau Field. Lambeau Field, no roof. Hello? <laughs> 
Redskins during football season is good weather in Green Bay. That would be none. <laughs> Note to self, build a freaking roof. <laughs> we have the technology. <laughs> yeah, you talk to the locals in Green Bay, what do they say? <laughs> Party people. <laughs> Bunch of frozen dumbasses is what you are. <laughs> All right, Walter, what about uh, you, what you I like him. He actually reminds me a lot of my dad, to be honest. <laughs> I do like him. Dumbasses is what you are. <clears throat> All right, Walter, what about uh, you, you don't like the humidity, you don't like the extreme cold, you want someplace warmer and drier? Yeah, how about uh, when we, we see in August, we are in Phoenix. August in Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> Your agent is a moron. <laughs> it was 112 three days in a row. Uh, what do all the locals say? But it's a dry heat. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> a bonfire's a dry heat. <laughs> You don't see me sticking my ass in one of those, do you? <laughs> Your ass is on fire. It's a dry heat. <laughs> I was in Florida. I gotta learn not the frickin' moss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, did you enjoy being in New York City? Oh, I love New York City. Good. Yeah, that was great. We'd do shows in Manhattan. About midnight, we'd get back to the hotel. 1 a.m., I'd lay my head on the pillow and listen to the sounds of the city. Woo-hoo! I love them! Ah! <laughs> I like that. There we go. <laughs> That's actually when I used to live. I lived in Piccadilly Circus, and that that, that was near identical. The, where I lived, the window was broken, so it was always open, so you always heard what was going on outside. And that was pretty much what we heard, <laughs> everything that Walter just said. That's what we heard. Manhattan, about midnight, we'd get back to the hotel. 1 a.m., I'd lay my head on the pillow and listen to the sounds of the city. Woo-hoo! <laughs> I love them! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, do you know what? This was a nice introduction to Walter. I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed this. That uh, I know he's got funnier. My dad's told me some in the like. He's told me some that he's done that he says are brilliant, and he says that like it's when he goes on about his wife. And I got a feeling when I talk, when I watch the ones where he's talking about his wife, it's gonna be like I'm watching my dad talking about my mum. That. I, I have a very strong feeling about it. <laughs> but yeah, this was a nice introduction to, to Walter. I really enjoyed watching him. And I need to have a look because I know Jeff Dunham's done some other characters as well where there may have been like one or two sketches and then he decided to stop doing them and things like that. But I still need to look into them as well. So that's where you guys come in. That any suggestions, please do leave them in the comments down below and I will get around to doing them. But until then, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I do upload daily. Until next time, take it easy. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Be kind. See you in the next one.